What's up, what's up? It's your boy, Paul P. Welcome to Paul P. Lockett Productions. I serve God. I'm not God. This is just my opinion. And it's time to watch, learn, and grow. <laughs> all right, all right. Hey, invest in yourself. Again, men, invest in yourself. And with that being said, we're going to start by talking about Rick Ross and his new book. So Rick Ross just put out his new book titled The Perfect Day to Boss Up, which he calls a personal guide to building your empire. Rick Ross has been a person since he has been in the industry who I could definitely say took the steps that he needed uh, by investing in himself to get to where He's at today. I mean, would y'all agree? You know, for y'all who know who Rick Ross is, you know, um, the rapper Rick Ross. Um, he came into the industry, you know, um, investing in himself became a platinum selling artist. Then again, investing in himself became a real estate mogul, especially out there in the Miami area. Then continuing to invest in himself, got into franchising and then bought out some wing stops to the point to where he's the one who discovered the thighs that are in wing stop today. Now, because he invested in himself, he have over 300 restaurants and investing in himself again. He just put out his first book. This is the man who I could say I respect for his hustle. He definitely did not cheat the steps that he had to take to get to where he is at today. And I felt that it was a lesson in this message from Rick Ross. And we're going to talk about it, you know, a little bit. See, um, one thing I always tell men out there is that you can't cheat yourself. You can't go from zero to a hundred. You got to invest in yourself and take the steps to get to where you're trying to go. Most men out there, they want to just hit a home run, hit a jump shot without even taking the proper steps. You want to be a musician, but you ain't practicing eight to 10 hours a day, going to take lessons, putting your stuff out there, trying to sell it to see where it goes, see what people think, getting an insight. No, 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 no. You want to just go and put out a music video and think that you're going to turn it to Jay-Z. <laughs> you want to go from zero to a hundred. You don't want to take the proper steps that you need. But you got to understand, you got to put in the work to gain growth. That's the only way you could grow. That's the only way you could get to where you're trying to get to. And that's the only way you could climb up the ladder like somebody like Rick Ross. This is something that is important for men to understand. To me, nowadays, this is where men are lacking. Men want to catch up so quick. They want to just, hey, I want this now. They don't want to be patient, take a step back and understand, hey, let me take these proper steps and then I can get to where I'm trying to get to eventually. Like Nipsey said, it's a marathon. It's not a sprint. If you keep trying to sprint, you're going to trip and fall. And you're going to trip so many times that one day you may not get back up. So understand what this is. It's a marathon. This leads me to talk to man a little bit and go into myself a little bit. Into where I had to understand this and invest in myself. Because before I did that, I was one of those guys. I worked hard, but I wanted to get to zero to 100 really quick. I didn't understand it took steps. I just wanted it. I was like, you know what? Let me just put in the work. This is what I want. I'm going to get it. But that ain't the way life works. I've always had a vision to want success. or I always had a dream to do whatever I had to do to get to where I was trying to get to. But I didn't understand that it would require me to take the proper steps. At that time, to be honest, I didn't even know what I really wanted to do. 
I knew that I had a talent in music. I knew that I loved sports. So I was like, you know what? Let me give a little work towards this. I already got the talent and ability. I'll get there. But that ain't the way life works. Everything requires a deep sense of understanding. You have to take steps and patiently take those steps to get to where you're trying to go. So going through these changes in my life, not understanding what it really take to get to where I was trying to get to. In 2013, for me, everything changed. I went through what a lot of us men go through, but I'm transparent and honest. I went through a breakup. And during this breakup, something happened. Before that something happened, the place I was living in at that time, Thanos vanished, gone. The car that I had at that time in my life got repoed. I was losing everything step by step. The job that I had at that time, because I was going through so much, about a month after that, lost the job. I was basically and practically homeless. Didn't have no money. Everything that I had and everything that I owned in a matter of a couple of months was gone. So I had to eventually figure it out. I didn't know what I was gonna do, but I knew I had to do something. I knew I had to somehow, some way figure this out. So I went through my, I'm gonna say 60 days of just going through my emotions, up and down, left and right. And I was like, man, you gotta figure this out, Paul. You gotta figure this out. So eventually, I understood that in order to get to where I'm trying to get to in life, no matter what I do, I gotta take steps. I gotta be patient. I gotta start reading. I gotta start looking things up. If I wanna build a business, I gotta start reading how to build a business books. I gotta start going on YouTube and looking up the people who I wanna uh, emulate and start to take tips from them. So I started to do all of these things. I didn't just try to rush. I didn't say, hey, I wanna do this. Let me just go do it. No, I said, let me understand what the steps are gonna be to get to where I'm trying to get to go. So a couple of months out of my life, I just did that. I just studied, understood the game, learned, learned, learned. And my first investment in myself was I decided to start a business. But even though I started a business, it don't mean that it just happened like that. It took a lot of time. It took a lot of effort. It took years. But after putting in the time, effort, being patient in the work and going through my ups and downs with it, two years later, I turned the business I started into a million dollar business, which was year 2014 to about year 2016. My next investment was me writing my drama series, The City. I'm a writer, I love to write. So I wrote the series, The City, but that wasn't it. I decided to film my own series. Took a lot of effort, had to go out and look for actors, had to put a team together, had to do a lot of rehearsals, had to get a directing team together. Had to get a filming crew together. I had to do all of that. A year and a half later, turned it into a series that you could watch today. It took a lot of time and effort and I had to invest in myself. Next investment after that, I wanted to expand my business. So I started a call center. I can't even tell you the half. <laughs> when it come down to that investment right there. Trying to get that going in the right direction. Trying to turn that into something. It took a lot of work. I couldn't cheat the system. I couldn't cheat the steps. I had to really, really dig down, dig deep and take my business to the next level by understanding this was going to take everything out of me. And I did that. Didn't quit. It took about Six to nine months to get that call center going. But eventually it got going. This call center had my business now projected to make 
five million dollars a year. The next investment in myself was I started a subscription site. You know, just like a Netflix, Amazon, things like that. I was like, you know what? Why let Amazon get everything that we are making from our drama series? Why not start our own thing? I invested so much into myself up to this point. Why don't I continue that? So I started the subscription site. Took a lot. It took going through a couple of people who said they could do it, said they could do it this way, said they could do it that way. It wasn't happening until I finally found the right person. Had to collaborate with him day and night to make sure that we put the right pieces to the puzzle. About nine to 10 months later, you have Paul P. Like Studios where you can find the city at, so go and watch it. <laughs> the next investment after that, I wanted to create my first film. Being a film writer, I have a lot of different movies, a lot of different television shows that I have written. But I was like, you know what? Now I want to do my own film. I had to invest in myself again. And please remember, this didn't come from this person or that person. I had to invest in myself. So I put the time and effort in with my team. We went out there. Interviewed a lot of different actors. Did whatever we had to do. And right now we are in the process of doing my first feature film. And getting it going. It took investing in myself. After that investment, I wanted to start a YouTube channel. Again, investing in myself. Taking all the steps just like Rick Ross. Not cheating the steps, taking them. And investing in myself. I knew it was going to take a lot of time and effort. Already it's running my business and doing this and doing that. But I'm like, you know what? This is what I want to do. And I'm going to give it my all. I'm not going to cheat the system. I'm going to do it the right way. Seven months later, we got the YouTube channel going. And now it's in a place to where it's becoming profitable. Investing in myself. The next investment in myself, something that I'm very proud of to this day, my book, Doing Business While Black. And this ain't a book that anybody wrote for me. Every word in that book, I invested my own time, my own effort, and wrote it myself. I didn't cut no corners. I didn't try to go from zero to 100. I didn't ask this person or that person to do it for me. I stood up tall as the man that I am, and I invested in myself. No matter how long it took, it took me three to four months to write that book, giving a lot of effort at night, no matter what. And now Doing Business While Black is out and you can find it on Amazon. Listen. To all you men out there, if you want to be great, if you want to be all you could be, if you want to stand tall, if you want to get respected, you have to take the steps and invest in yourself to get to where you're trying to go in life. You cannot cheat the system. It don't work that way. You men got to stop thinking that you could go from zero to 100 and not go to level two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I always tell you, respect what Nipsey said. It's a marathon to get there. And that's the only way you will be able to achieve your dreams. But you got to be ready to meet your goals. And you got to be ready to put in the work. If you respect people like Rick Ross, look at the person that you look up to. If you respect these people, if you respect everything that I told you when it comes down to investing in myself, then after this video, you're going to do whatever you have to do to put in the work and it gets where you're trying to get to go. Get off of your couch. Get out your mother's house. Get out of the basement. Get up and go out there and fight for what you want in life. 
Stop asking people for things. Stop going to moms, grandmas, and telling them, hey, can I borrow this or borrow that? No, go out there and make it happen yourself. I don't care if you got to sleep on the streets. Be a man. Be great. Be the king that God chose us to be. Be the one that stands tall on your chessboard. And if you can't do that and you're ready to tap out like a UFC fighter, then give up. But if you're the man that you say you are, you're going to invest in yourself and you're going to go out there and be the greatest man that you can ever become. And I know you could do it. You just got to believe in it yourself. It's time for men to be men. And it's time for men to understand what it takes to be a man. And be a winner. So invest in yourself. All right? Your boy, Paul P. I'm out. Doses. <laughs>